Hey guys, it's Kaldvali here, back with another episode of this Crusader Kings 2 series where we're using the Sons of Abraham DLC, and what does that mean exactly for us? Well, it means we owe the Jews money. Uh, um, so we're playing as the Duke of Aragorn, and where is this? Well, as you can see on this uh, beautiful, stable-looking map, the only <laughs> region which seems war-torn. Well, it's not the only one, but one of the biggest war-torn regions is, of course, the one we're currently inhabiting. Though the Umayyads are having some issues themselves. And I've had a day's break between uh, the two last sessions that I recorded after each other. I had some time to think, reflect on my decisions, and they are kind of foolish. Because <laughs> we started here, and I realized I've been reckless and rash and too aggressive and too greedy. I wanted the Duchy of Aragorn, but really what does the Duchy of Aragorn provide me with? Well, it splits up my regions, as you see here have these two land spots and they're split up. Uh, I would be better off expanding within the Duchy of Toulouse than usurping that title. Um, said consolidate my power there, but instead I went for this. And it's it's alright, but it's not the best because we can't really expand down here because the Muslims are there and we tried last episode. Completely <laughs> tore my court apart and the war ended inconclusively. And we can't expand here either because Barcelona is pretty freaking strong, as you can see here. They're only supposed to have like this area, but they've expanded up here. And this is supposed to be Toulouse's land. But Toulouse can't hold it, apparently. Yeah, as you can see, they're supposed to have all of this. They only have this. Lost this one because I broke away. Because a duke cannot have a duke as a vassal. Uh, just as counts can't have counts as vassals. So I became independent within... Uh, the Kingdom of Aquitaine, which is war-torn um, by a civil war. I didn't really talk about the mechanics of that uh, in, in case you're unfamiliar with Crusade Kings 2. I hope that wasn't too messy for you, but the way you do that is through factions. You create a faction and save for Prince Carloman of Aquitaine. Which currently I have 169% power of leech, which is rubbish, but uh, well, I guess not because he's pretty beaten down. Anyway, then you demand installment of that cla cla uh, claimant and he declines possibly because he wants to stay in power and then civil war erupts so what you can see here aquitaine after the civil war aquitaine will still you know go back to being aquitaine these areas within the lighted area as you see here with the exception of bourbon uh will go into the same thing the revolting duchies are of course gascon toulouse aquitaine Poitou, and these three counties here those loyal to the crown would be myself, though <laughs> I'm not really contributing at all. Uh, there's Barcelona, and there's also this Duchy of Mallorca. So that's the thing. I think I'm going to go a bit slower pace because I want to see this war devo developing, and also because it's a messy situation. Uh, and really, we don't really have any troops, we don't really have any money, because the biggest mistakes, well... Because it wasn't mistakes, this is we did win the war, but still, I've been fighting wars with uh, soldiers I don't have. I was using mercenaries. Mercenaries are expensive. And I've been paying for ex uh, <laughs> mercenaries with, you know, money I don't have. You see, this is my income. Not particularly rich. So I've been borrowing money from the Jews. I've been extorting my own barons and bishops. And pretty much <laughs> banishing them from the realm and seizing all their worldly possessions. It's not a healthy way to do things, but we do have a strong claim on the Duchy of Gascon. And there, as you can see uh, on the realm tree here, they got like top 794 troops. They're not too strong at all, they're really weak, so we should try and pounce on them before they have the chance to build up their strength. We can actually get more troops on them once we rebuild, so that's what I'm going to do now. We're just going to rebuild a bit. I'm going to start this for now. Oh, wait, I'm not, because I have some more <laughs> stuff to say. <laughs> Long intro, sorry. We're going to build up. We're not going to really push these claims here, because they're kind of ridiculous, because they also would split us, split our lands up apart more. And instead, I want to focus on getting gas going. Um, instead, we might want to focus on getting some alliances, though we need... The only way to get alliances is to marry off your children, and none of them are old enough to enter marriage. You have to be 16. Closest is Perdicas, who is 8. It's not going to work out very well. So no alliances. So there's no reason to improve relations with anyone else. But yeah, I'm going to go for Gascon. And in, once I get that, I will comfortably expand within Aquitaine. Um, but the reason I'm pausing is because I did something else off camera. Just because it's long and tedious and I didn't really know if it would work. 
because our council is rubbish, especially after I banished all of the good people, but they didn't like me, so they had to go. Um, so I've actually invited some people to my court, and the way you do this is you just go find characters, search all, and go for like male, because that's the only people who can hold a position in the council, same religion, and, and so forth. Um, and just go like invite people to your court. Uh, and most of them will say no, and I figured maybe I wouldn't be able to invite anyone at all, because I am a duke, but my prestige is really low. Although I just had the feast, and my diplomacy is really high. And I did, after some bribes, get people to join us for every position except uh, steward, because it's pretty good. And not court, court chaplain. So you'll see people coming into my court, that's also why I don't have as much money now as I did. Um, there we go, this is the first one. Oh, did I get a court chaplain to join us after all? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I guess I did, my bad. Uh, the bishop is, of course, not going to be happy to be fired from council. No, that's not the one I fired. Oh, well. Or is it? Am I missing stuff? Either way, I'm going to improve relations with this guy. Setting my council straight. I got a really good chancellor, if I remember correctly. And you're made naming a spy master. Fantastic. Oh, next guy is the Marshal with 23 Marshal. He's Occitan, so I guess he's our culture. Wait, yeah, he's Catholic. I just had to check so I didn't get like a Byzantine or, or Orthodox guy proletizing in my country. That would be horrible. Constrained troops. Another Frankish fella. You have 19 at um, Diplomacy. That's good. It's much better than the guy we already have. I'm not sure what I want to do with you because not sure if I should expand here yet. I'm gonna wait a bit, maybe make the king like me a bit more. Maybe. Or maybe make the Pope like me, who knows? Twenty-three intrigue. You are my new spy master, thank you very much. But you are also orthodox. But since you like me so much, I'm gonna order you to convert. And you, my friend, will research technology in Constantinople 263 or how is Baghdad 786 okay it's better it's better but let's check Baghdad oh it's a lot worse why I seem to remember these uh, settlements having more technology points clearly they don't that is our council sorted we don't really have a lot of vassals I'm not sure we need to improve relations with a lot of them the bishops will take care of the bishops he submits to Catholicism. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Um, it says that this guy is winning the war, 25% plus, but all of his forces, well, there are forces here. If they unite, they can beat him. Yeah, sure, so let's improve. I think he's going to win the war. He's, he should be able to win the war. But we'll have to see, though. Meanwhile, in the shadows, I shall try and rebuild. I need my marshal, though, to help me out with that oh levy reinforcements rate mine is 70 percent until 885 that is too long why I wonder is it because we just took it or something possibly that's inconvenient but we need to build up our money so that we can I mean we technically if we have full force we have more guys than this Gascon fella but we are going to need mercenaries, so there's no getting around that part. Uh, not going to kill him. Anything fun going on? Oh yeah, people are nominating their successors because it's elective. And even though they're not technically um, in Aquitaine because they're revolting, as the ru uh, revolting against the ruler of Aquitaine, they're still, you know, within du jour um, Aquitaine, so they do get a vote. Which we don't, because we're outside of it, I think, which is annoying. And we just lost our good steward. Oh, the air is Ludwig of... Oh, no. I can't have that happen. I cannot have that happen. Can I kill you? I actually can't. I'm actually going to kill this guy. <laughs> just because if he... Let's think this through. If he... I mean, he is the king of East Francia. He's gained West Francia. If he also inherits inherits uh, Aquitaine, he's gonna just be too big and powerful, and I don't want that. But who is your heir is what concerns me. 
as the king of Bavaria. So that would unite East France and Bavaria. It would unite East France and Bavaria, which I also don't want because I want to like have a policy to prevent the Holy Roman Empire from forming. But at the same time, he is the heir to Aquitaine, and I can't risk that. But all you need to do is grow up, not die, get married, have a son. Problem solved. So I will not try and kill him. Just to keep East Francia from expanding, but it's a risk because we need this new king not to die. Although, if this flips around and Toulouse actually wins the civil war, that would be even better. Because he has. Oh, I was about to say he has a secure line, but he has three daughters, but oh well. Already, the king likes me a bit more because of my diplomat. Or chancellor, rather. Oh, right, I need a new steward. All of them kind of suck. So let's actually see though, because I didn't really bother with the um, the steward fellas. Let's see if we can invite someone. Ruler, no. Adult, yes. Uh, Levy reinforcements rate goes up, perfect. Thank you. No, stewardship. Oh, you like me. You like me a lot. You're not going to come to my court. Not educate child, wrong button. Come to my court. Please come to my court. Please come to my court. The reason why I'm like hovering over no is because sometimes like there's not a lot that separates the no from the yes. In which case a simple bribe of like 20 golds might make them come over. Which is totally worth it to me. Uh. Okay, so this guy has... Yeah, if I bribe him, I reckon he's gonna come over. What's your... your 18. Yeah, so it's the same as what we had. Yeah, see? There he comes. Fantastic. Now getting, like, one fellow for each council position, you can see how this would take some time. <laughs> but, I mean, we need to repopulate our um, court. And they bring along their wives and any children they have. And we need to repopulate the court because I basically banished everyone in the last episode. Fantastic, you're back. So now I'm just going to fire this guy again, which, oh, he's not going to be happy with me at all, but sorry, this guy does the job better than you do. Wolfgang's come. Fantastic. I think I need to stop saying fantastic. Uh, also, I inherited this barony, which I gave away originally, but now I'm thinking I can keep it because it's not a city. It's not a bishopric, so technically it's like a castle and I can hold castles. And we can get 2,000 troops in total, yay! Fantastic. I again need to stop saying fantastic. Uh, make her charitable. Sounds good enough for me. How old are you? Okay, so as soon as this guy turns 6, I'm gonna wanna... Actually, I might wanna do this right now. I'm gonna have you educated by someone else. Just for some opinion. 25, would that do anything? <laughs> it would, actually. So, I will... Um, no, I can't award him honorary titles, then... Ah. I'm gonna have her educated by... Let's see... Hmm. Yeah, let's have him educated by this guy. Would up his opinion of us by some... Award him... Master of the Hunt. Making the job a little easier. Making the fact that we fired him from his council position a little better. People are revolting in Gascon. What is up here? Because you are your Gascon, right? D he's def okay, so there was a civil war in the Duchy of this Gascon as well. And it is Count Jacu of Dax. War for Gascon. Now this would be an ideal and opportune moment to pounce. But I said to myself, I would not be too aggressive. And we're winning the war in Barcelona, apparently. Anytime now. But... Ah... Uh, I'm so tempted to just go for Gascon. Claim Gascon, look at that, look at that. But I'm not comfortable with the money we have. But he is war-torn, and like this is his army, 800 men. Which we cannot match 
Oh god, can we kill some of my barons? <laughs> Inherit their land? No. Uh, crap. I'm not considering doing this again, I'm just... For the fun of it, checking how much money my vassals have. And none of them are worth, worth uh, banishing. So that's good for them. Should be happy about that part. Hmm. Need some more troops from this place, so how about you train troops there as well? You're part of this little civil war. Let's see if we can quickly get a claim here. Uh, no. Actually, ah. How's this war going for you? Yeah. Can educate my sons by me so I make sure that they get the traits that are most useful. I trust no one but myself. Oh, I'm so tempted to just rush in here now. Jews, give me money again. God dang it. No, looks like the king here is actually going to win this war. But why is this place being sieged? Oh, it's not, it's just retinue or something? Hmm. Unsure. But the civil war should work out fine now. They don't really have any forces. They've been beaten back. So, Duke of Toulouse is not going to be king of Aquitaine. And I will not be the Duke of Gascogne, apparently. Ah, do you have any allies? No, so you're kind of like ripe for the taking, picking, whatever the expression is. Curses. <laughs> hmm. My hands are itching to just kill someone. Kill. Must kill. Let's see, 50%. So this war is soon to be over. Uh, 800 men is not really enough. 110. We have enough to like order some mercenaries, but they are not gonna... I mean, eight monthly cost is 8. So you can do the math there. We're not gonna have a lot of months to siege and take Gascon. But really, all we would need to do is take out their armies. See, now I'm whispering into my own ear all the things that should not be whispered. Horrible. 600 men. Uh, he is so weak right now. He is just so incredibly weak. Why are you in my land? Oh, no. You know what? I cannot allow him to actually siege my stuff right now. Because if he does that, we lose the levy from our county. And I need them if I'm going to go to war against Gascon. So we're going to have to stop this fella. Bump it up to 3 speed here. So the war... The, mm, yeah, the civil war is probably going to end. Oh wait, 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 wait. Who's it in favor of? Okay, good. Because if the count was winning and I went to war for my claim and he won his claim, I'm not sure if the war would, our war, if we started it, would end inconclusively, but can we raise some troops in this area? Yeah, we'll do that as soon as the battle commences. They have mountain defense, but we have better commanders. Don't kill all of my men before a war, please. Good, good, good. Away from my land. Now we're down to 600 troops and another guy attacks back off my land. 664 guys. We lost them there. Shame, shame, shame. Civil War in Gascon ended. He is still on top. Pope. Nominate bishop. Oh, I can nominate bishops. Though you wouldn't want to listen to me, would you? Nope. Nope, you wouldn't. Request money. I can request money from the Pope. Ah. 
Interesting. He probably wouldn't want to give me any money though, but... Nice still. And the civil war is... Limited crown authority? No. No. Uh... Gascon is actually independent. Interesting. You need to marry. Actually... This would give us nothing though. Matrilineally? Uh, of course not. For some reason, Gascon is actually independent of Aqu Aquitaine. I did not expect this. Hmm. I kind of want the king to push my claim for Duke of Gascon just to put it under his thumb again. Uh, he's so weak. But as am I. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. I really should wait and bide my time until I've been very become very strong and then I should pounce but I'm impatient and reckless and move too fast and you see a lot of guys have been put in prison those would be the revolting uh, dukes guess this guy is in prison he's in prison you're in prison you're in prison you're in prison yeah now we declare holy war for what Aragorn oh he's pushing our titles Oh, this is... Oh, I love you, king. I love you, king. So what's happening now is he's declaring holy war for this place. Um, which is under my rule, should be. He's not pushing my du jour claim. He's pushing holy war, which means that it will become his land. But since it is so far away from his other possession, he is likely to give it away. And because I have a claim on it and he likes me, he's also likely to give it to me. So I'm going to continue improve relations to make you love me and then make you give it to me. That came out wrong. <laughs> so, mm, no, I, I'm happily married, thank you. Um, damn it. Marshall failed. It's not what I pay you to do. But even if he gives it to some other count, I can vassalize him. So this is perfect. Though, would this... I mean, like what happened, because I went for the Jujur claim, and then the civil war in the Umayyad dynasty ended, and my war ended inconclusively, but since it's a holy war, even if the civil war ends, I think the war will still be on. The only thing is he's going to be fighting the entire Umayyad, and he's got all the pretty kings to join him, East Francia, Bavaria, and Lotharingia. I feel like celebrating with the war myself. Am I being a reckless fool? I am being a reckless fool. It's just what this guy's gonna be known as. Shit. I declared war. Uh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Mm, where should we come from? Let's see. No penalties. River crossing from Fuin to lose. So, we're gonna come from Alta Aragorn. And I will, of course, recruit mercenaries because. East Kalthvala doesn't fight wars with his own troops, he uses everyone else's. Oh god. I bet like all of my bishops and <laughs> barons are like, shit, he's going to war again, it's gonna revoke all our titles. We know what happens, we've seen this before. <laughs> uh, this is horrible. I'm a horrible human being. Well, at least I haven't been murdering children yet, that's a regular thing with me and Crusade Kings 2. No children were hurt in the making of this episode. And you're not supposed to have that many troops. What are you doing? Yeah, He probably built something. Just now, just now I finished construction and suddenly have more troops than me. You're not supposed to have that man. Need you to leave the troops. Ay, ay, ay. But. But, 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 but. We do have access to mercenaries. Can abuse that all the way. And <laughs> now we have 60 gold, and this is not gonna last a lot of months. 60 gold minus 7.2 each month. Ay, ay, ay. But all I'm hoping right now is we just beat their army, and maybe. Like, our tiny army should be enough to siege at least a few of their settlements, because early in the game, everyone's really weak. They don't have a huge amount of levy, as you can see now. Gascon should have a lot more than just 
1200 troops. 22nd of June. Oh, we're going to catch them most likely. And their defenses are also really low, unless he's been building up. God dang it. Oh, this cat and mouse game. Now we finally catch you, though, bastards. No disadvantages. Don't lose too many men. Skirmish face. Doing well. We routed the right flank. Oh, they are so dead. Perfect. Oh, the Duke himself is holding out. Long. For a long time. Yeah. So we can definitely siege stuff without the mercenaries. So I might even disp disband the mercenaries right now. Tempted to do just that. And unless he gets mercenaries himself, he's not going to be able to actually, yeah, save his skin. We got a prisoner who's actually always oh, a genius. You would be a benefit to the Duke, but I will ransom you for 25 gold, which will allow us to keep these mercenaries for a little longer. Um, and I will, will also try and siege this. 2,000 versus 280 men. Uh, usually when you want to like assault things, you want almost to have like a 10 to 1 ratio because even if you have like more men, it's really tricky. Oh uh, yeah, but we're taking this one. Assaulting is really risky. You need like tons more troops than the defenders have. And actually what kind of army composition you have also uh, affects this because if you have a lot of skirmishers, archers and the like, that's going to benefit you in these assaults if you don't like... It makes sense though, if you send like a bunch of <laughs> cavalry men against the wall, they're not going to do much good. If you send archers, they are, they can be useful. The church preaches celibacy, I preach pleasure. That's just how we roll. I mean, I have four kids already. Our war score is already up to 80. The battle actually gave us 75%, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful check how much because this is a big place the next one you can't take that without the mercenaries Let's check here though yeah I'm actually gonna try and assault this again because I'm I'm just like inches away from disbanding um, the mercenaries so you're gonna put them to the most use before we do so salt yeah bump up the speed a little bit yeah let's do that since we're nearing the end of the episode and we want to Maybe bring this war to a conclusion. I don't think we will be able to do that, but at least, yeah. And he doesn't have any allies, I presume, which is grand. How many of our guys are still alive? About 600, if I read the stuff correctly. I'm gonna keep you from re-sieging the stuff I already sieged. Ooh, Cassandra is not gonna be arbitrary. That's like the worst trait you want. Not only does it make you well arbitrary, which is never good. Um, your vassals are going to dislike you for it as well. As opposed to just, which makes you just and makes your vassals like you. It's generally something you want them to do. Do we get a ticking war score for holding his stuff? I'm not sure. 96%! We don't get a ticking war score, but just cable, man. Cave. Yeah, if we get the Duchy of Gascon, which it very much looks like we will, I think this series will get uh, <laughs> get going on a good track again. We'll get a steady power base, we can build up there, just get money, repay the Jews, and then just build up and go for the throne. Sounds fantastic. Speaking of... <laughs> Do you see this? King Louis II now favors Duke Iskal as the heir to the Kingdom of Aquitaine. That is huge. That is huge. Is it because you don't have any sons? You have a son, but he's zero years old. You favor me? I'm your spy master, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> That's, it's a weird way, like, I, I think you would be a good king. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you. Now I'm gonna stab you in the back. But only because, if I understand this correctly, we are first in line to inherit the kingdom of Aquitaine. King Louis, you may have <laughs> made the biggest mistake of your life. Gonna auto invite a ton of people. No one joins. Oh. <laughs> well, that's rubbish. 
Okay, so we have about 210 plot power ourselves because we are a uh, spy master, but we need at least one guy to join us. We need at least one person to join us so we can push it. Uh, no. I'm looking for people to bribe. Usually it tells you who is bribable, but sometimes it doesn't really do so accurately, and you can bribe people who the game says are not bribable. Well, they are bribable, but they're not gonna. Uh, I can't talk today. Let's see, four. That is four, five, six, seven. Now, no, it's not gonna work. I think, though, I'm not sure, but I do think we need one guy to join, and one guy joins. <laughs> this plot is gonna fire immediately. Holy crap. Heir to the Duchy of Bourbon, but I am heir to the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Let's keep a watch of that. He might like change next month, change his mind, but right now we are in line to become the King of Aquitaine. And I didn't really deserve it. I didn't really do anything grand for it. <laughs> he just said, "You're of all my treacherous dukes, you're the best one. I don't have a living heir. I don't want a foreign king to take my country, so I'm going to vote for you. <laughs> and I'm going to try and kill him. And uh, now we finally won the war, we gained Gascon. I'm not sure if that's going to influence his opinion on me. If anything, it should make him like me more because I bring Gascon back to the fold. And look at that, it's all to lose again. And we can nominate ourselves, giving us two votes. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. We gain a few more vassals. Oh, okay. And we have a V claim on Barcelona. Now, though. I reckon we will be the strongest duke in Aquitaine. We are. Which would give us a tremendous amount of plot power. It's for fun. Let's see if we do a faction for Duke Iskal. Doesn't really do us much. But yeah, we... I gotta end it here. Take a break. Big things are possibly happening. We just gained Gascon. Which is fantastic. Um, giving us some proper vassals. Uh, but none of them like us very much, so next episode we're going to have to do some uh, duchy management. We're going to build up, like I said, we do have some claims against the Duchess of um, Barcelona. We don't. I thought some places of Aragon belong to you. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we have n no just reason for war against her, but we might. <laughs> Regardless. Nothing against you either, I suppose. Grand. Okay, but we do have a strong possibility of becoming the king of Aquitaine unless this guy changes his vote maybe to this guy but he's too young and we can kill him but we do have a plot going 222 percent to kill the king if he dies now if this plot fires which it, it could fire anytime and if it fires now and he dies we are a king <laughs> Okay, so that's interesting for sure. Let's see what happens though in the future, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you will enjoy following the series forwards. I am very excited for the next episode. Iskaldal is signing off.